Today we are taking a flight from Johannesburg to somewhere very special. If you saw our previous video you might have a guess where we are heading to, otherwise keep watching to find out. Check-in went fairly easy, we didn't have to wait for too long, it was not so crowded. We came across this beautiful souvenir store. You can find a very big selection of souvenirs from Africa. And now it's time to board the plane to St. Helena, as you can see. As you can see, we are not landing in St. Helena at the moment. This is Wolvis Bay. The aircraft uh, lands here just to refuel. As St. Helena is so isolated, the airplane needs to refuel before continuing to St. Helena. So we're on our way again. Uh, we just spent like 20 minutes on the ground. It was a really, really fast stop. We left the mainland of Africa and now it's uh, sea all the way till we reach the isolated island of St. Helena. So it's really in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. at St. Helena as you can see it's a very beautiful approach as well you can see very nicely the island six hours flight with one stop from Johannesburg so actually it's quite easy to get here it's not as difficult as it seems so the locals seem to enjoy watching the airplane landing as it's the only flight per week so 
It's only once they come here per week. It's a very small airport, but it's almost brand new. There is a bank to exchange money to the local currency, which you can do from euros, dollars, South African rand and British pounds. There is an airport store where you can buy some basic food, some drinks and as well a SIM card, which is extremely expensive on the island. We just left the airport now. This is our taxi driver. We are uh, sharing the car together with another couple to our hotel. We arrived in a room, this is the Mantis St. Helena Hotel. It's the first luxury hotel on the island and it was built in the original East Indian Company barracks which were built in 1774. But as you can see now they turned it into a very nice luxurious hotel. So it's a very comfortable place to stay on St. Helena. Apparently on a Saturday nearly everything is closed in Jamestown. The flight to St. Helena lands here about uh, one o'clock in the afternoon. So that means that you still have half of the afternoon left to enjoy the island. Unfortunately, as it's always on a Saturday, there's not so much stuff open. So we're trying to look for a restaurant now because we are hungry. They told us there is a restaurant just across the park. Some people have asked us how we book this. Uh, you can just book the tickets online on Airlink and the hotel as well through Accor Hotels. But be prepared, it's not very cheap to travel here. Hi. We found this restaurant, it's called Anne's Place. It seems to be the only place that is actually open. And I ordered pork ribs and Hak orders fish. Basically, my food has come frozen months ago, but the fish should be fresh. After the lunch, we decided to take a walk around uh, Jamestown. And as you can see, it's not very busy here. This is the supermarket. And this is one of the small grocery stores you can find here but it's closed because it's saturday Jamestown is very quiet on a Saturday. The most noisy part seems to be the birds. I hope this video gave some insight how it looks like to travel to St. Helena. There are more videos coming soon about this beautiful island, so please like and subscribe to see more videos coming. Thank you!